the video leave a thumbs up i need to put it on the mic i forgot about that i'm about to do my click mess cylinder slave right in line i'm gonna start that that's gonna be a vlog how to maybe i don't know but enjoy Cleaning out this mess and whatever, and trying to get everything a little bit more organized because it's kind of annoying. Uh, I'm gonna get out all of the things I'm gonna need for this job. I did this on my previous TSX, so I kind of have an idea of you know the things I need and whatnot. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing the CM1, I think it's called the hybrid racing clutch master cylinder with the slave and braided line. Should remove the delay valve, less like bogging and not you just smooth the shifts. Not too sure if this is gonna be like a how to video or just kind of like a vlog and just me going about it because I could link a previous video of me doing this on my last CSX, show you guys that. Uh, I just kind of want to get this done and do my little bits and whatnot and you know, go as we go. We got a bunch of organizing done, well not a bunch, but we got a little bit of uh, stuff organized and cleaned out the way and whatnot. Looks a bit better, there's more space. I'm going to be doing a slave and I'm going to be replacing the, the stock clutch line and then clutch master cylinder. Should be fun. So guys, I just got that text. I need to go ahead and make that stop. What I'm going to start with doing is taking out the battery to have more space. I'll drain out the fluid like I did last time by like pumping it out and whatever. And I'm going to be taking out the whole assembly out together instead of taking out the line itself like some people do. Because that's how I did it last time. I just took it out with the whole line itself with the clutch master cylinder. And it all worked out. So we shall see. What is going on guys? It is your boy Rich coming back. You wanted another update. I didn't even do shit. This is the next day. I got kind of caught up with running around in the store and back and forth. I had to get some sleep and you know for work. So yeah, I'm gonna start this up today. See how far I go and whatnot. Then maybe finish tomorrow and then like you know, beautiful day. Let's get to it. So I'm gonna be starting off with taking out the battery, then going for the sway. Hopefully, you know, I'll have enough room after taking out the battery and whatnot. And I won't have to take this off. Hoping so, but we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> Honestly. So guys, I just used my little pump and I just sucked the shit out of here. No homo. <laughs> I'm gonna take off the slave now. It's just two bolts. I'm gonna take that off and start prying off the damn line wherever I need to, then take off the bolts for that as well. Uh, let's put this back on. Alright, so we're gonna come here. Damn guys, I'm dumb. I was using a 13 mil because it was in the spot of the 12 mil. For whatever reason. So maybe we just put it in order just in case. So we have order going. Roll another. <laughs> Kids are walking back from school behind. Yeah, Quick update. I'm old as fuck. My knees are like shot right now, bending over this goddamn engine bay. I use this trusty little ratchet, whatever, from Harbor Freight to help me get this middle bracket back here with the 10 mil as well as this one on the side of the chassis engine bay in here there's two 10 mils it's going good it's really not a hard job at all guys just making sure you have some space it's a little a little tight squeeze and it takes a little time you know to work it but it's going lines almost out then i have to do the reservoir there's this one white i think there's two actually one back there one white clip and I just have to go inside and get the clutch master cylinder which is also a pretty easy job 
I'm gonna link that in the description of me doing that whole job in the previous TSX. All right, what's going on guys? It's kind of like the next day. I'm about to go on the inside and start taking out the clutch master cylinder. For this, you have to loosen up like the left side of like the brake booster too to get the full line out because it's like kind of tucked behind it. So yeah, I'm about to do that right now. Well, that's a beautiful day. All right, I'm sad that uh, I have my battery out so I cannot like put my seat all the way back. And this is kind of like an annoying spot, but I got room, so let's do this. Time to break my back. I'm gonna ham on neck, shoulders, and back, and arms today at the gym, so. All right guys, so we got all that out. It was a bit of a hassle. The back left one is the hardest one to do because it's in a really shitty spot. You kind of have to get a little swivel socket to be able to like get that angle and crack it at first, then, you know, do the rest by hand or whatever. So yeah, I got that out. I got like fucking cramps in my neck, and this right side of my rib cage is broken. <laughs> It's really like not a fun position guys. It's easy to do for the most part. The position is what fucking kills the whole job. Yeah, easy enough. You have to loosen up all four uh, nuts of the brake booster to push it out so you be able to get the clutch line fully out because it's kind of like tucked in there. Let's <laughs> just keep going. The clutch pedal seems pretty like newish. Like it looks, it looks pretty new. Even like the sensors and stuff look pretty new. So uh, let's see if we can get this. Thing fully out. Why, why are we, how the fuck do we? All right guys, so I got that last darn clip in. So what was best to use last time was one of those fork picks, which I didn't have. So I had to awesome with this until it finally did its thing and came out. So now I'm gonna push that up. To get this out, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And there you have it guys. That's how you take it out, all in one. No mess, no fluids, no shit. Just fucking reverse everything. Uh, definitely scrape the shit out of my arm, but Ouch. I like it because it makes me look cool. He's a warrior, guys. Warrior. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this. Uh, I think it's pretty actually fairly new. So if anyone wants to buy this stuff, let me know. It'll be for sale because I won't need it. I need to go get some drink, guys, because I'm fucking, ooh, I'm parched. Ooh. So you see all the new parts. The hybrid race and clutch master cylinder without the delay valve, slave, Raider line, a bus. So yeah, new parts, you know what it is. All right guys, so this is like day three. I didn't really have enough time yesterday because I was kind of finishing up around 4.30ish where I was leaving off and I still needed time you know, to eat, shower, and go to sleep for work, you know? I had like the clutch master cylinder in and whatever, but my dumbass forgot to, forgot to adjust this. So when I went and put this in, it, the pin just was not lining up at all with it. So yeah, that was that. So I had to take it out, I'll do that, and I just kind of left off at, you know, having this done. But also, 7.30. In the morning, I wanted to get started early. Sadly, it was raining and shit, so I couldn't do it out there. So I had to push it back in the garage, but we gonna get to it, guys. Oh man, I pissed myself. So you just the water on my fenders and shit. Shut up, you fucking bosses. So to do the clutch master cylinder, it's a little easier with two people to you know, an extra set of hands to be able to guide uh, from the inside. But another way kind of trick to do it is get a big ass flathead, uh, work your magic with one in you know, your left arm. Oh yeah, you push that plate, finagle it in and it goes. Then you go from the inside and get those fucking threads in, then you put it on your nuts. So let's go do that. What is going on guys? It is your boy Rish. 
Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't click off yet, guys. So let me explain to you how much fucking frustration and trouble we've been having. Like, this is, like, same thing as last time I did on my last CSX. It's just day three. I had to take on and off the whole system, like, three times. Uh, <laughs> and the last time was because I had to swap out the line because I kind of put it on opposite ways like a dummy. Working when you're tired and just trying to get shit done kind of doesn't work all the time. So straight to the point. Been struggling to bleed it today. That was the whole problem. I got one pump that didn't work. Uh, I tried all these different bleeding methods. Nothing was working. And yet again, the same pump from last time. I was using the old one trying to. That shit is like a dud. It doesn't work anymore like that. But I got this new one and I finally was able to suck down some fluid after fucking plenty full of times and pumps and all that so hoorah guys hoorah so i'm finally gonna get it bled and tomorrow i'm supposed to get my headers on do my exhaust so i'm really praying that still all falls through uh need to get my car shifting the gears and driving so let's do this guys just wanted to update you guys it's been a little struggle all right guys so as you can tell car is on shit's running it definitely feels pretty different, so when we go on this little ride or whatever, I need to go to the car wash, rinse out all that shit, show you guys and kind of explain the difference and how it feels and whatever. It's definitely a big, big change. It's something to get used to, but we ran into mad complications, especially like right when we're about to finish the damn job, always like something fucks it up. Right at the end, I was just about to be done and the slave and whatever, squeaking every time like OD, so. I go to take it off so I can re-grease stuff. Then there's so much pressure and like fluid inside the slave that I couldn't fucking put it back on. So I had to take out the line, take out the boot to release all the fluids, everything. Fucking reassemble it all, re-bleed the system. And now we're finally here, guys. <laughs> Drop a fucking like for your boy. Oh, the delay valve, that shit works. Guys, like the one to two, that shit is instant. Like I put it in, it's like fucking there. One, two. One, two. Uh, let me go wash my hands and yeah, we'll go hit the road. <laughs> It really started in July. We did it, guys. <sighs> now you guys are gonna see how it feels and what it does. So it's like, there's no like delay as much bogging. Like it's, it's literally fucking the shifts are instant, guys. Like there's no delays within the shifts. Uh, it's a lot smoother. Now paired with the CT short shifter, now it's even quicker and smoother shifts. Should be getting my shit done tomorrow. Let me hit up my boy Jovin just to confirm. He's the one that did my muffler delete and all that. Damn, gym vibes, gym vibes. Hey, hey, hey. official. That, 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 that shit looking good though. That's that, that's that wrist. That rich yes, muscle sir. right here, you know what I mean? Gym yeah, yeah, vibes, man. It's always nice to have some welding friends and, you know, friends that got a lift and, you know, that'll help you out. Help yeah, them help you, help you, yeah, help them. We all help. I know it's gonna be feeling even better. You know, once I just get my headers and all that done and I'm banging some gears, quick, fast, like, be like, shoo, 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 shoo. All right, guys, so I am about to pop open my engine bay and I'm gonna like clean around the car too because it's just dusty and fucking dusty. 